Welcome back, everyone. It is still November. It is early afternoon. That is our sun. And we are going to continue working. Um, while there's sunlight, I guess. Uh, so we've got some plans today. Big plans today. Uh, we will put... Uh, we're looking to put in a road... I think I could oh, let me see if I can sneak through here so um, I had a look There's a couple of things I really want to do today one is getting a road in through here um, the other is putting up some lighting um, we're already struggling with lighting in November December and January are gonna be brutal so I want something so I think we're going to, initially I was going to try to go in closer to the water, but I had to spin around and decided that this is probably the best place to try to come through. Um, main reason being is we don't have the ability to cut some trees along the edge, but here we do. So we'll be able to make a clear cut right through here. And... Oh, I forgot something. I'll be right back. Okay, so I forgot this. This is the stump grinder. I got thinking about it in the last episode. And this cost $27,000. And it worked okay, I guess. It did work. Um, nothing, you know, nothing special. But then I got thinking, I kind of want a skid steer uh, to be able to get in and out of there. While I was looking at the prices of skid steers, and most notably the attachments for skid steers, I realized you can buy... Uh, where am I going again? Uh, can't wait to get this to find somewhere in here. Um, I have to find my trailer now. Where did I put it? There it is. Bottom line is that's twenty-seven thousand for a stump grinder. You can get one for a skid steer for, I think, two thousand. So I'm off to the store, and I brought the trailer. I am actually going to sell this for. You know, I don't know what I'll get back for it. I know I'm going to lose money. I always do. That's that's the way I roll. Uh, where's the road? It's over here somewhere. Um, but I'm going to sell this. I still have, you know, some money. I'm going to buy a small skid steer. And I will uh, buy the stump grinder that goes with that. But I'll also buy uh, some other tools. Um, so that I can move some logs around e a lot more easily than with a full-size tractor. So that's the plan to start today's episode. Now we're just gonna jump down here. I did have a look. I did have, you know, kind of difficulty choosing what I wanted, <laughs> as usual. I think we're right up there. I came up with something. I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm thinking. There is a super cheap John Deere skid steer. Um, there we go. Well, let's get us out of the way. I'll bring down the ramp right away so we're ready. There we go. Turn off the lights. So we're gonna sell this. We'll probably get 20 something for it. Whoops. Oh no, I'm not in the right spot. Uh, where's my super strength? Is this the right spot? There it is, 23, 23.7. I think I paid 27 for it. I'm gonna lose a bit of money as usual. We're gonna sell that. Let's get this guy back to where he belongs. Headlights might be 
good to have. Okay. Lights off. Now let's go shopping. I'll show you what I picked out. So I jumped in here. I considered this one uh, for 35,000. 68 horsepower, and it is 2.9 tons. Um, I'm going to have to lift big logs. So I saw this one. Um, this one's heavier. It's double the weight, and it's got more horsepower. Uh, but I decided to go with this route. Um, again, it's similar to the John Deere, but um, I like that there's a, an optional rear weight for this. So um, we're going to pick this up. And it looks kind of big. It actually kind of does look big, doesn't it? It's hard to tell without something to beside it to, to measure, but but I think we're going to go with that. Good old trusty Massey. And we probably need a forestry cage that would be safe. And it converts from skid steer loader to front loader. So I guess it can use front loader attachments, which makes it, you know, pretty flexible, I guess. We can change the colors and all that. I won't play with that. Bright yellow is good, especially with all the dark and stuff. So let's pick that up. 25,000. Okay. So far, we kind of haven't lost any money, but we have a skid steer. So now I want to look at the options for it. And the first thing that comes to mind is our $2,500. Sorry, not 2000 It was 2500 So there's our stump grinder. So we're going to pick that up and... Should we be shiny? Yeah, let's be shiny so we can see it better, especially in the dark. So, wish it was yellow though. So we're gonna buy that. And then um, there's a few other things we could buy. Instead of using a chainsaw, we could use something like this to cut trees. I just don't know how big a tree this can um, deal with. I'm not sure about that. This one here also cuts trees. Yeah, I'm not very familiar with those, so I think I'll leave it alone for now. So the other piece was this piece here that I wanted, a rear weight. And what are the options? I can go to 1800, so I think I'm going to go right away to 1800. There we go. Now... I kind of also need um, I need something to pick up the logs. Instead of getting a real log fork, I am going to use a manure fork. And that actually works well for picking up logs. Oh, this is a brush and log. Oh, let's have a look at that. Okay, let's do that. Can we get that? Let's get that in the red as well. Okay. So we've spent about 10,000 and we've gotten a skid steer, stump grinder, log fork, and rear weight um, for an extra 10,000. And in theory, I could possibly continue um, getting some other attachments and actually sell the front loader. Uh, for the tractor. We may not need it. So now the trick is to figure out how to get all this onto there. Which might be tricky. So, let's see. Look at that. Sounds pretty nice. Check out our lighting options. So we got front lights. Down low. And rear lights. So we're going to turn all that on for now. We'll start with our rear weight. There we go. And then we will. This looks like it's actually going to fill the trailer. I 
want to see how this fits. Let's see if we can put everything on in one load. Oh, come on. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I just need to... Keeps rolling backwards, though. We're gonna shove that right to the front. And then we'll put this guy on and lift it up in the air. I think we're gonna be good. There we go. Let's see if we can get up here. Go on. That's as far as we can go. Well, I gotta bring this down a bit. Let's see, how's that? That should work. We are a bit far over, but that's okay. I'll have the lights on, of course. What is it with me and doors and lights? Ah, we'll put on all the lights. Why not? Alright. So there we go. For 10,000 bucks, we've got a lot more functionality. We have another vehicle that we can use, which is going to come in super handy. So I am going to... Oh boy. Uh-oh. We're spinning like crazy. Uh, there's something else I wanted to do, isn't there? Okay, let me get up this little hill here. That is challenging. Let me get up this little hill. I'm going to park just up at this level part up here. And I'm going to go back down and get some wheel weights installed on this. Okay, I'm just going to... Uh-oh. That's sketchy. Hopefully they'll still be here when we get back. Let me just go get some wheel weights put on here. That was a lot of spinning. So how are you guys doing today? Um, we can do that right here, I guess. Probably drive right on there, shouldn't I? Okay, customize and our wheel set up. There's some weights. That's an extra 1200. I can go for wide tires and weights for 3000. So I think I'm going to do that. That's probably going to be a lot better. I mean, I could go for. Uh, Okay, so there's wide two, there's narrow, obviously not. Rear twins, twins all around. No, I think I'm just gonna go for wide plus weights. That gives me 6.7 tons. What does this change? 6.7, I don't know what the difference is to be honest. Just a tread design, I guess. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to spend an extra 3,000. And it's 105 horsepower. Oh, that's a lot of money, though. I can go to 145. So we'll wait. We'll wait for that. Okay, so that's going to help with two things. Uh, one, it's going to help with the, our ability to carry logs with this. Although, you know, we may not need to so much if we've got that skid steer. Um, but the other one is traction. Just pure, straight-up traction. Oop. Oh. 
we'll see how well this does. There's another bit of a hill to do up there, so we'll, we'll find out. Ah, lights are still on. I'll keep the critters away, I guess. Okay. Let's see how this works. I'm still spinning a bit. Well, that's interesting to know. I mean, ultimately, we could just drive the skid steer back, but I'm stubborn. This part here looks pretty steep. We're getting five kilometers an hour. That's dropping now. Oh, it's going up. I'm not sure why. It's deeper here. Four, three. Good news is we only have to do this once. So fun fact, um, I when I first started this series, um, I, I I was excited about this map. I saw that um, this would be great to do a series on, and so I just went with it. You know, got my uh, stuff organized, started recording as soon as I could because I was excited, of course. Um, and I ref. When, when I started realizing how dark it was at night, I wanted to see how far north Corpy was. Uh, I'm not very familiar with Finland, so I decided to do a little research, looked online, to find out that Corpy is not actually a place. Um, Corpy is the Finnish word for wilderness. So, basically... When I looked up Corpy, Finland, I got hits from all over Finland, uh, which was pretty interesting. Um, I got very confused, and then I realized, ah, uh, okay, so I, you know, ran translate and and found out that it is not, it is not a specific place. It refers to wilderness, um, much like Pioneer Map. Um, you know, is based in South America, I believe in Brazil. Um, are we at the right place? Yes, we are. There we are. Okay. You know what? Actually, I probably just need this here, don't I? So let's unload this. Oh boy. We'll leave the lights on. So. There, fun fact. I also decided to try to learn a little Finnish. Um, and I will try to use some. Uh, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I don't remember. I took a, a beginner lesson on, you know, so how to say hello and those basic things, but I don't remember well enough. I have to practice a little bit. I've always been uh, fascinated with with the northern um, northern countries, and um, I'm not much of a traveler myself. Uh, but if I was to travel, there we go. We got all our tools. Awesome. Okay, let's turn that off for now. We're going to get to work in here soon. I uh, just need to get this trailer out of here so we don't need it anymore. Yeah, I've always been fascinated. If, you know, I was one of those things, if I had a lot of money and I was able to travel a lot, I would not hit the regular touristy spots, um, you know, in Europe and, and whatnot. I would probably hit uh, a lot of the northern countries. 
I'd love to visit Iceland. I'd love to visit Sweden and Norway and Finland. Um, yeah, it would be awesome. It would be awesome. Maybe one day. We'll see. We'll see. Most of my, well, most all of my travel has been in North America, North America, and the Caribbean. And um, I do love traveling my own country, which is Canada. Uh, there's so much to see here. It's hard to want to go somewhere else uh, when I haven't seen everything here. I guess. I'm just going to leave that right there. Okay, so shall we get to work? Oh, look at that. Look at that. And so it continues. Uh, so we will need... As you can see, I kind of cleared up more of the yard. Um, so we will need our log trailer, which is just... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened there? Our log trailer is just over here. I have slowed down the clock to to real real time. I guess it is uh, one one time speed. Uh, I will do that for the the cold months the winter months and i will switch it to probably five ish for the summer okay there we go actually i can just leave this connected because i'll be using the skid steer to load that stuff up i'm gonna leave those lights on the more lights we have the better so, I want to enter right here. I think this is what we wanted to do. So let's get that started. And I'll put on my flashlight. And somebody suggested I should crouch to do this. And wow, that works well. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. Whoa, whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> my tree launched out of my hands. No idea where it went. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, we want to come out here I'm not allowed to cut that one but I can cut this one not allowed to cut that one either uh oh where's my logic do I need to come in here okay alright let's try this again Crouch. Chainsaw. Nice. I did miss a spot at the beginning here. Okay, let's see if I can... Ugh. This is so rough. Not being able to see where you're going. Okay. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Get this guy down. Obviously this one I'm going to need to pick up. Is there a piece? Yes, there is. Uh, okay, I'll get that later. All right, let's try this. Oops. All right, let's try this.
Brilliant. That is incredibly good. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I think I can take this one. Yes. Whoops. It's not just... Oh boy, I'm not that tall. Try this again. See, with super strength, you also get extended range. There we go. Okay, we're going to see about picking those up. Why don't I cut everything I need to? We're going to cut this one. Okay. Can I pick it up? Yes, I can. Okay. That works. So we now have a shot through here. And I feel like maybe we're going to take this one out. I think we can take this one out. Yes. All over. All over. Thank you. There we go. And I'll carry this one out. All right. Let's see how this guy performs. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. I'm gonna hit that tree, aren't I? No, I'm not. Now, hopefully, this goes high enough. A little worried about that part. Oh, nice. This is a great skid here. It does not tip all the way down now. That's one problem. But since we're in the middle, we could... Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Alright, let's get the rest of these loaded up. Guys. I found my stick. The flying stick. Uh, I want to put it in this way. Oops, that should go a bit further up. There we go. I think I'm also going to take this tree down. Let's do that. And I can pick that up. Really kind of put this thing in a 
bad location. Come on. Ah, uh, get up there. There we go. I'd have to reach it, you know, grab it from a little further away than I have been. Okay, I'm going to grab the rest of these. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, I have been struggling with this particular log for a little bit now. It doesn't seem to grab it properly. Although now it looks like I kind of have it. But it keeps falling out. Maybe it's too big. Okay. Alright, we got it. We got it. I think I've got two more to grab. And I've decided to take down one more tree. Of course, I've run into every single stump. stump. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take this guy down as well. This guy I can do with my hand. All right. Now, there's a stump, which I have avoided. And there's our tree over here. Well, it looks like just a small log, actually. I can pick that up with my hands. Is that it? Is that all I have? Kind of looks like it. Not sure why I cut it that short, but that's all right. Whoops. Yeah. Let's put him right there. Okay. So, here's our shot through here. How many stumps will I run into? Okay, now well let's try out this stump grinder. Hopefully it works better than the other one. The other one worked, but it was a bit of a pain. Alright. the next one. Come on. Alright, there we go. There's a large one. Alright, I think we're done. I think we've got all the stumps. Let's turn that off. Okay. I think we're good. So I'm going to go drop this off. I'll come back and pick up the uh, log fork in a minute. 
And for now, we're just going to put this here. And now we need a shed that might be for next episode to get us set up with one. Whoa. That is a rough bridge. Wonder if there's something nicer I can put in instead. Uh, we'll see. All right. What am I hearing? That's weird. There we go. I thought I turned it off. Okay, now let's go get our logs. Alright. Nice. I was worried I'd have to unload them. We got some wood chips starting up. We got 14,000 liters. I don't know how you calculate wood in liters, but... You know, whatever. Okay. It's going to get dark very soon. I want to set up some lights. Um, before we're done with this episode. And I want to do it while it's dark. Okay, let's uh, let's rest a little bit and get the dark darkness to kick in, and then we'll work on putting in some lighting. Well, what do you think? Think it's dark enough to try this? It's almost pitch black. All right. Uh, lighting is in uh, decoration lights. And I can't even see where we are. Yeah, why don't we put in a few of these? How close to the house can we get? Uh, where's the edge? Right there. Okay, that's one to light up the front of the house. Now, let's get one in here. Um, yeah, there's stuff here. Shouldn't have put stuff there. Okay, let's focus first on our bridge area. So we'll put one in right there. No, we won't, because it won't let me. I guess because, wow, why can't I put one? Oh boy. Let's put one right here. Right there. And I don't know why it won't let me put one over here. That's weird. Okay, let's drop one here. And we need one uh, I want to say, oh, we can't have it too close, can we? And we put one right about here. Okay. How does this look? Yeah, we need a lot more lights than that. <laughs> That's okay, though. This should be enough. Maybe we'll add one more down the road here. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe we'll put it on this side. Okay. Well, we got a few in here. Uh, I think in the long run, we're going to put in on much more powerful lights. But for now, this will do. At least it allows us to get home. 
I think I need one more here, but I'll have to move this stuff out of the way. We'll do that in the next episode. All right, guys, uh, that's it for now. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, please consider subscribing. And um, I hope you have an absolutely great day.